Hello y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Christelle and I am a medical student in the United States. I recorded this video in August shortly after I found out that I would in fact be getting a stem cell transplant to cure my sickle cell disease, which is a condition that I've been living with my whole life. This morning, I was working on my IRB protocol while planning transplant and moving logistics with my brother Carl. The conversations that take place in this video were inspired by Michelle Reed after she posted a video of her going back to visit New York City after moving back to her home state of Texas. Her reflecting back on that season of her life got me to reflect back on my life since moving to California. Hey y'all. Um, I hate that my, my voice goes up like 10 octaves. Hey y'all. And then, then I talk like this. Anyway, um, so hey, <laughs> normal voice. It's been a couple hours since I last filmed. I had woken up and was at the computer. And then I went downstairs to make breakfast and I thought I was gonna like clean up the kitchen and be productive, but no, I napped. And now here we are way too late it's like almost 2 p.m and so <laughs> i just sort of finished getting ready thanks to my home girl who like got me this oh, she didn't get it for me but she let me use her really cute shirt and she taught me how to do a wing <laughs> okay okay so i'm i'm here looking cute feeling cute i have my hair tied up um, if you know, you know, I'm trying to lay down these edges, so I'm looking like extra fresh. I haven't retwisted my locks in a really long time. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I wanted to take you all with me as we go to the beach. So as you guys know, I'm going to get a stem cell transplant. And right now I'm in this place where I'm really trying to enjoy some of the things that I know I won't be able to while I'm doing the transplant and in the recovery process. So. One of those things is that I can't be in the sun and also I'm moving for the transplant and so I won't be near the beach or at least warm beaches <laughs> anymore. And so I just figured I would go to the beach today so that I could enjoy the things that I won't be able to. And I feel like it's been sort of making me think about the past and how I'm always so quick to sort of move on to the next season or I don't necessarily take time to enjoy the simple pleasures of the current season that I'm in. So I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on that and maybe do a quick story time as I take you along with me in my day. So I hope you really enjoy it and feel encouraged by it. So I guess I'll start off. I moved across the country after, like a year after I graduated college college and I had wanted to move in this move to the city since I was in high school and so like I didn't really think it was going to be a realistic goal but then it ended up happening so I was super excited and it felt so surreal and it felt like a dream to be in the city that I'd always wanted to be in and at first I was just super excited about everything I loved exploring the city I didn't have a car. I didn't have anybody I knew besides my brother. I went to live with my brother. And so it just felt like a fun new season of meeting people, exploring the place, exploring the city, trying new things, and also dancing, which I love. And so that was really fun for me. But I feel like over time, that novelty kind of wore off and I felt like the inconvenience of not having a car kind of took over and made me forget about the simple things that I enjoyed about traveling the city. And I'm trying to recognize that, yes, that's a fair thing to sort of wrestle with. And like, it was an inconvenience. It just was what it was. But really trying to look back and think about how sorrowful I was about that thing, even though I had been so excited to move. And I love exploring the city. I never had a car before. I always took public transportation. So taking the train wasn't going to be an issue. But somehow the inconvenience of not having a car really clouded that. I also ended up being in a lot of chronic pain for like the two years after I moved out here. And so that made it really difficult as well. So anyway, let's pause the story here, sort of rally myself and my friend. I'm gonna get packed up and then I'll see you at the beach and then I'll finish the story there, all right? Toodles. I always say toodles really early even though I know I'm not ending the video. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Okay, hey y'all, I finally made it to the beach. 
I love this place. I found my favorite spot that I've been going to for the past couple of years since I've been living here. And it just brings my time here full circle. And I just feel so good. And I found this spot by accident. I had forgotten where it was. I was like, where is it? I don't know, should I park here? I picked a random spot that looks good. And bam, bam, look at God, look at that. Hey, so anyway, I found my favorite spot. I love it, I'm gonna show you guys around. Oh no, you can't see me anymore because the light is behind me. But just look at this, look at this, look at this. It's got a little bench. I have all my snacks, a little tripod, my water bottle. Water, water, I don't say water like that, I say water. And then my cute little friend in the background, you know. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> I love her face. Anyway, so yes, so this is this is the friend who got me looking this cute right now. So yeah, anywho, I wanted to come on and like share my little finish the rest of my story that I had started earlier in the vlog about being present and just enjoying the season that I'm in and doing the things that I won't be able to do soon. But I actually think I'm going to not finish that story right now. I just want to enjoy being here at the beach. So I don't know why I'm waving my glasses like this. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to sit and enjoy the beach and maybe I'll come back on uh, before I leave. Okay. Hey y'all, so sorry I did not pick up the camera after I left the beach or even after I re recorded that clip at the beach. Obviously, I am no longer at the beach. Um, so yeah, I just ended up having a really good time. My friend and I were just people watching and watching the waves and there was like a, there was actually, an, I think there was a test for an air show happening. Um, there were a bunch of like there are five or six planes like doing all these crazy tricks in the air and then leaving like the little plane cloud behind it. Is that what it's called? A plane cloud? Comment down below if you know what the plane cloud is called. Anyway, so yeah, I was just really enjoying my time with my friend um, and I ended up not recording. Um, then we went to go grab a bite to eat. Um, and then afterwards we came home and my roommate had his friends over, um, just a couple of his friends. Um, and so we just were chatting it up, having a good time. Is someone at the door? Nope. Just weird noises in my room. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we were just having a good time. It's 2.30 now <laughs> and, uh, we've, I've not stayed up this late in a while um but it was just so nice to check my friends and we talked about some deep stuff so that was really good um yeah so we just had a good time it was just nice to chat and catch up uh, sorry about not recording sorry about not picking up the camera uh, and also not finishing my story um yeah so um i'll probably finish it tomorrow lord knows 2 30 a.m is not the time for me to be talking and trying to record so yeah but i'll talk more about them tomorrow i keep saying tomorrow i swear tomorrow we're gonna have this conversation me and you and if we don't have it i don't know you choose the punishment but i actually don't please don't <laughs> okay i'll see y'all tomorrow bye okay y'all i know i said i was going to bed i am i'm gonna get ready to go to bed. I got my makeup wipes to clean the face off, but I just wanted to say this is an accomplishment, okay? Tony, sis, 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 sis. I don't mind the burn on my forehead. Y'all, I was frying some plantains. People got me calling it plantains now. Anyway, it's called Banan Bizik in Haitian Creole. So, um, yeah, don't mind a little, little patch, melaninless patch on my forehead. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just, I'm really feeling this look, this little 90s look. Anyway, so I'm just, I'm really proud of myself, y'all. And these are the little things I want to document. And maybe I want to document big and little things, but these are the things I want to document on YouTube. I always feel like this is totally not what I was going to say. This is a 
different tangent, a different story, but I just felt it right now. Like, these are the things that I want to document. These are the little accomplishments that I want to to show the world and to use to encourage other people. Like, I feel like I go on YouTube and this is also like a projection, right? This is like a negative self-thought, um, but it's like, I see YouTube and I see people who have it all together. And I know that's not true. And I feel like, again, like I can't be on YouTube because I don't have it all together. But that's the thing. Most people on YouTube are just sharing their journeys and or sharing their experience or their expertise. It doesn't mean they have it all together. Um, so I just want this to be a place where we could all celebrate our accomplishments and grow and encourage each other to do so um, and not expect perfection. Um, but just celebrate the little things like doing winged liner today and I put on a little blush and my lipstick, not lipstick, my lip gloss and lip liner have run off. But like my friend let me use her um, brow gel. I know you, there's no evidence of that anymore. So I don't even know why I'm talking about it. But like me tweezing my eyebrows is a, this is a new thing. This is a new thing, y'all. So anyway, anyway, your girl is feeling herself. Also wearing a top like this is new. Thank you, Tony. Again, like she just, she just blew my world today. Anyway, so encourage a friend to do something new. Encourage yourself to do something new. Um, and celebrate the little wins, y'all, because, <laughs> you know, you know, hold on, this, this is not my look, this is my look, because your girl can't see, so, she's cute, she's cute, she's feeling herself, not every day I feel like this, so, don't see me as perfect, we're just growing, I don't know why I'm showing you my hair, I don't know why I'm doing this, I need to take this hair down, brush my teeth, wash my face. Oh, I should have kept my hair up to wash my face. Okay. Anywho. Oh, oh, that stuck. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and share that. I'm officially getting ready for bed. So, anywho, thank you for listening to my little rant. Celebrate yourself today. Celebrate your wins. Celebrate your friends' wins. Love ya. See you later. So remember how I said I would finish the rest of this story tomorrow? Well, it is the next day and tomorrow is here and I gotta finish telling that story. Unfortunately, there was a loud clicking noise caused by the central AC unit in the house that I was living in. So in order to spare you from that annoying noise, I'll just voice over what I was saying while you watch me style my hair. This is not a, a how to maintain your locks or a get ready with me routine. My only rhyme or reason to use the products I use in my hair is to make it feel soft and to smell good. And that's about it. So yesterday I started introducing my story of moving across the country. And while I was initially excited, I sort of let the inconveniences of not having my own car and having long bouts of chronic pain bog me down and make me feel jaded about something I had worked so hard to achieve. And I want to say there's nothing wrong with recognizing those inconveniences and letting myself feel those negative feelings because it was indeed a frustrating situation. But I do feel like those feelings manifested in a pattern of apathy in my life and feelings of discontentment in my current season. I was constantly in a state of wishing I was in my next season or back in the season prior. It was like something that had once been so exciting became burdensome and something I could no longer celebrate. I used to love traveling in the city using public transportation, but then all I wished I was having a car so that I could get home faster. I loved going natural and rocking my kinky curly hair, but then all I wished was to shave it all off again because I no longer wanted to spend time doing it. In each season, I was rushing for the next season to come or overwhelmed by the inconveniences of the present. I had now come to realize that there's room for me to enjoy what is happening in the now 
while recognizing the inconveniences. It's not about pretending the inconveniences aren't there or wishing them away. I realized I needed to learn how to live joyfully in the tension of recognizing that I didn't have everything that I wanted slash needed, but I could also enjoy and serve my current season well at the same time. I ended up coming to this conclusion while watching one of Michelle Reed's videos, which she talked about how grateful she was for the season she lived in New York City. I realized I had so much to be grateful for and learned so much from moving across the country, even though that season didn't look like what I thought it would. Ironically, I moved when I moved six hours away to SoCal for my grad program, I lived far away from the city and I would constantly complain that I wish I didn't have to drive so much and that I wanted to take public transportation to travel around the city. And I caught myself in a cycle of not appreciating my present season and I didn't really want to live that way anymore. So thank you to Michelle Reed for that video because it encouraged me in such a positive way. Now I realize that there's room for me to recognize what I'm not happy with and still enjoy the little pleasures in life while making changes where I can. So I just wanted to share that tidbit because it was on my heart and I'm still working out my brand on YouTube and what I want to share on this platform, but I definitely will continue to share these stories of personal growth and development in all aspects of my life because I value being a progressing person. I'm not perfect. I often come on this platform and think that the people here are perfect and have it all together. But really, YouTube is just a place where people share their journeys. I have no shame in sharing my journey as well. I am an unfinished piece of work, and I just hope that my honesty and vulnerability can encourage those who are watching who may be going through a difficult season to reflect on what they can be grateful for or who they can inspire with their story. So on to having a wonderful evening with my friends and celebrating the little pleasures that I have in my life today. This is like traditional, what Haitians use to make traditional banan pizzi. Um, but you can also use this kind of banana or plantain. Uh, this one's very unripe, and this one's just a more ripe version of it. These are both very ripe. I personally, I used to always love the unripe ones, but now these are grown up. So, we'll see. Clearly, I haven't learned from this. Anyway, hopefully these come out good. It looks so nice to have like, you still have like a loose, like free element of your hair uh -huh. without having to deal with these things. Yes. 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 And you get the lock look? Yep. That's oh one thing. We'll see how it plays out, but, you know. It might turn out a little different. I'm so excited. <laughs> so good.
while I was, okay, I'm going to start over because I can't talk right now.